Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 15th of November. PM Modi's tribal push in Jharkhand visits Birsa Munda's birthplace, unveils several projects. Taliban minister raises issue of refugee assets during Pakistan visit. And Sri Lanka's top court says ex-president and officials contributed to economic crisis. And offer all the details. In major tribal outreach in politically crucial Jharkhand state, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday visited the birthplace of folk hero and freedom fighter Birsa Munda on his birth anniversary. Celebrated as Janjatiya Gaurav Divas or Tribal Pride Day, PM Modi on the occasion launched particularly vulnerable tribal groups mission in Jharkhand and the Viksit Bharat Sankalp Yatra which will spread word about government welfare schemes. PM Modi also unveiled several other initiatives including rail extension projects and coal handling plants. His visit is being seen as an election strategy for general election next year, while voting in tribal-dominated states of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh is slated to be held on November 17. हर वंचित को सरकारी योजनाओं का जो हकदार है उसके हक के लिए उसको लाभार्थी बनाया जाएगा as rescue efforts for reaching 40 workers trapped in a collapsed highway tunnel in India's Uttarkashi entered the third day relatives of the trapped victims have urged for a faster rescue while the laborers were reported to be safe and healthy relative of one of the trapped labor claimed rescue efforts have slow According to officials, rescue teams are unable to reach the victims as huge boulders were blocking efforts to create an evacuation passage. Heavy machinery is being brought in from New Delhi to aid the evacuation efforts, a senior official said. The 4.5-kilometer tunnel, which caved in early on Sunday, is being built in Uttarakhand state on a national highway that is part of the Char Dham Hindu pilgrimage route. The work on the tunnel commenced in 2018 was intended to be completed by July 22. It has now been delayed to May 2024. Ahead of the general election in Pakistan, the difference between PPP and PMLN, the members of Pakistan Democratic Movement Alliance has come forth. In the latest, PPP chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari took a jibe at PMLN Supremo Nawaz Sharif over his recent visit to Balochistan and advised him to concentrate on addressing issues in Lahore. Mia Saab should stay in Lahore and focus on its problems, Bilawal was quoted as saying by local media. Criticizing Sharif, he said PMLN should do politics on its own instead of relying on others by forming alliances. Notably, Sharif let PMLN had announced an alliance in elections with MQMP in Sindh and is expected to join hands with the Balochistan Awami Party before the general elections later to be held in February next year. The Taliban's acting commerce minister met Pakistan's foreign minister in Islamabad discussing trade and how the thousands of Afghan citizens Pakistan is expelling could take cash and other assets back to their homeland, a statement by Afghanistan embassy said on Tuesday. The visit comes less than a week after expulsion of hundreds of thousands of undocumented Afghans in Pakistan began. Those who have been forcefully deported by Islamabad have alleged that there are restrictions on the transfer of cash and property to Afghanistan from Pakistan, where many had built businesses and homes for decades. Taliban, the de facto rulers of Afghanistan, along with the UN and Western embassies, has called on Islamabad to halt the deportation. However, Pakistan has brushed off the calls to reconsider the decision, citing security reasons. Sri Lanka's top court ruled on Tuesday that former President Gotabaya Rajapaksa and his brother, former PM Mahinda Rajapaksa, were among several government officials whose conduct contributed to the country's worst economic crisis in decades. 
The court ruling came over a petition filed against 13 former officials by rights group Transparency International Sri Lanka. The two Rajpaksa brothers, two former central bank governors and incumbent president Ranil Vikramasinghe were among those named in the landmark petition. Vikramasinghe was prime minister at the time of the crisis. <laughs> Hindu club are doing now. Me, Arthike, Vinayakar, Pu, Pudgalayan, Kaudhi, Kine, K, Sambandha, Va, E, Sambandha, Va, E, Naduyo, Pavarla, Tib, Vagutra, Karu, Angin, Devka, E, Tuna, Dahaya, Saha, Tavat, Vagutra, Karu, An, Sankhya, Va, Kusin, Me, Arthike, Vinayakar, Tava, Kiyu, Tu, Baota, Karu, Adhikarne, Visin, Hindu, Kara, E, Anu, Adhikarne, Visin, Rupiah, Eklaksha, Panasda, Ahak, Begingu, Mudalak, Petsam, Karu, Arthe, Given, Lesa, Vedi, Dorat, Hindu, Karla, Tiyo. Sri Lanka's economy collapsed as it shrank 7.8% last year, pummeled by long power cuts, soaring inflation, a plunging rupee and record high interest rates. The economy is gradually recovering, officials say, since the island nation secured a $2.9 billion IMF bailout in March and has taken reforms to generate revenue. Bangladesh is currently experiencing its most severe outbreak of dengue fever on record with death toll nearing 1500 mark and over 3 lakh people infected so far this year overwhelming the healthcare system. Experts have pointed to climate change as a contributing factor. They say rising temperatures and an extended monsoon season are creating optimal conditions for the Aedes mosquitoes, the carrier of the viral disease. Without a specific vaccine or drug to treat dengue and hospitals facing shortages of essential supplies, health officials have pointed out vector surveillance. A close examination of how the disease is spreading is now needed year-round in Bangladesh. Scores of Hindus in India converged at the banks of sacred river Yamuna to take a holy dip and offer prayers to celebrate the sibling festival of Bhai Duj. Take a look. Hundreds of Hindu devotees on Wednesday offered prayers and took a holy dip in the river Yamuna to mark the sibling festival of Bhai Duj, which celebrates the brother-sister bond. On this occasion, sisters applied tilak of a million mark on the forehead of their brothers. Legend has it that these rituals were instituted by Yamraj, the Hindu god of death, when he was invited to his sister Yami's house. Yami, also known as Yamuna, offered prayers to Yamraj and in turn he gave her a gift. It is believed that if a woman takes bath in river Yamuna on this day, then Lord Yamraj blesses her brother with a long life. ने आए हुए हैं ऐसी मानता है कि हम जब भाई बहन एक साथ यहाँ पे आज डुबकी लगाते हैं तो उनका प्रेम सदियों सदियों तक बना रहता है जमना जी और यमराज जैसे कि उनके बीच का जो प्रेम बना रहा वो भी यहाँ पे बैठ के बगैर हम भोजन करते हैं आज साथ में यमना जी के किनारे पे तो ऐसी सुख समृद्धि और भाइयों बहनों के बीच में प्यार जो कि आज के ज़माने में बिल्कुल नहीं देखा जाता है लोग बट Meanwhile, a group of local women also applied tikka on forehead of army personnel in Punch district of Jammu and Kashmir, praying for their well-being. Bhaiduj also marks the end of celebrations of Hindu festival of lights, Diwali. हम यही कामना करते हैं भगवान जी से कि हमारे भाई उच्च पदों पे जाए और जहाँ भी रहें जिस बॉर्डर पे भी रहें वहाँ खुशी का माहौल रहे वहाँ स्वस्थ रहें खुश रहें ये जो अपने घरों से दूर जहाँ पे बॉर्डरों पे दिन रात तैनात रहते हैं हमारी रक्षा के लिए ये हम इनका बहुत बहुत शुक्र गुजार कर, शुक्रिया करते हैं क्योंकि जो ये जो बॉर्डरों पर रहते हैं दिन रात तैनात रहते हैं और हम चैन की नींद सो पाते हैं That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.